Hey society, you guys, how is everybody doing? Hopefully you're doing awesome today. I'm Rich. Um, you've probably seen me, if not, hello. Nice to meet you. Um, some people have asked me, well I've thought about them asking me, um, how I get such an awesome haircut. And basically, I go went to this lady who was pretty much, she cut my hair about as good as a blind monkey with scissors. So, that's why it looks so good, you know, don't you think so? I don't. Anyway, um... More importantly, people wanted to know, what, how do I have my setup for when I do my video game commentary? What do I have to capture the, the footage and get it to the computer and edit it and all that good stuff? Uh, so what I have here is basically my setup. Um, you got the Xbox, right? And I use this device right here called a Hapage HD PVR. It's this thing right here. You can use that so you plug in the Xbox wires into this and then this will send the information all the way to the computer using a USB port. Um, now, um, I actually hear you'll probably wonder, what are these things? These things are splitters. These are to split the video and the audio um, because the one thing is, is if I wanted to, I could plug these directly into the box, and then there would be a preview screen on the computer, which would say, which would show, and you know, be like I'm playing on the TV, except there is a slight delay. So when you play online, you'll get your butt kicked if you don't have the splitters. But the splitters let me be able to play on the TV and record the footage at the same time. Now, if you wanted, like if you had an HD TV, um, high definition television, you could actually on the back here, it has ports for you to be able to put in high def wires. I don't have a high def television yet, that's why my videos are in standard, um, but once I do, then I'll upgrade, you know, it'll be very easy to change it, and boom. All right, so that's how I get the footage to the computer. Uh, in case you're wondering, if you buy one of these, these are what a lot of top YouTubers use. This is why I was very excited about getting this, because so many people use it. Um, now, the one thing is, is, I know some people have computers that don't have um, DVD or CD-ROM, readers, like they don't have a place to put in CDs or DVDs in their computer. If you don't, just know that you do have to download software in order to be able to use this to record the footage. All right. Um, now for the audio, because the way I do this, all it's recording is the video game noises and um, the video game footage. It's just like if you saw the TV, it's only capturing what's on the TV. To capture my voice, I use my camera setup here. Um, I don't actually use the camera, I just use that because that's how I mount my microphone. This is the microphone I use right now. Um, it is called a Rode Video Mic. This is the box. It's good. It's awesome. And then I use that and it's plugged into a personal recorder called an H1 Handy Recorder. Uh, so it's going to save them and then I take it. It's on a mini SD card. I plug the mini SD card into the adapter here. So I plug it into there. And I put that into the computer that has the audio files. Put it into a program called Adobe Premiere. And that's how I edit it, put the audio to it, and boom, it's all done right there and on that program. So that's my setup. Uh, if you guys have any other comments or questions about that, let me know, and I'll be happy to help you. Because I've noticed that a lot of YouTubers, they don't actually talk about how they record their footage. So I wanted to show you guys, you know, what I do. So you guys kind of have a better idea of how to do this. Now, you don't have to use the microphone setup that I do because I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have an expensive setup because I'm just using the equipment that I use to make movies. So it's just easier for me to just use that equipment. But you don't need that. What you could do is get an external mic like that one right there or one even much smaller than that. You could get like a $20 microphone from like Radio Shack, Best Buy or something like that to plug into your computer and you can record your audio from there. The only thing would be you do have to have a computer nearby kind of like how I do in order to be able to record the audio. With this, I can kind of sit away from the computer. I don't have to have it stretched over using the USB cords or whatever and then record it. Um, if you do need to record your audio on the computer because you don't have something like I do with you know personal recorders and microphones and stuff, what you can use is a program called Audacity. It's a free program. I'll put the link in the description. You can go there. It's totally free. I've used it for several years now. And you can plug your microphone into your computer and it should work. If not, um, obviously there will be more help on the computer uh, on the internet if you're able to find out to get your microphone to work. But that way you could use a $20 setup for the mic. Um, then you could use the free program. The... Uh, the Hapaj, Hapog, Hapaji, whatever, comes with editing software. I don't use that because what I have is better. Um, but if you have to, it does come with editing software, so you can use that. So once you get the capture card, it comes with editing software. The voice recording software is for free. And you've obviously already got the, the Xbox set up. Each of those splitters that I used cost me $5 each, so it's $15 for the three splitters. You don't have to use the splitters. It's up to you. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have any comments or questions, post down in the comment section. 
be happy to try to answer them hopefully in the future or you know yeah okay so thank you guys and i'll talk to you guys later see ya